Welcome to the Demi Ramos Show. We are at Atlantic Records, and today's guest is Dylan Fraser. He is back from the Matrix, and we're going to talk about existence. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Well, we're in LA, and we have a gift for you. Okay. And you're the first artist. We're starting a new tradition, and you're the first artist we are starting this tradition with. I'm all honored. Okay. Of course. So every artist is going to get a gift. And if you just close your eyes and put out your hands, just just put out your hands again. Boom. Yay! Oh, <laughs> so fun fact. Tell me. You guys are going to hate this. No, no, you can't. Are you allergic to avocado? No, 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 no. I'm not allergic, but I hate avocado. I feel like maybe you knew this. You didn't know. I love the gift though. I love the sentiment of the gift. Well. But like there's wow. something about avocados. I don't know what it is. And everyone was like, you're going to come to LA and the avocados are going to be amazing because apparently they're just bad in the UK and not ripe or something. Uh-huh. And I've come to LA and sadly still don't like the avocados. And I keep asking for stuff without avocado in restaurants here and people are like, what? Like, you don't want the avocado? Wait a second. Okay, so at what point did you realize you don't like avocado? Because it's an L.A. thing. We thought it was, like, L.A.-themed. Yeah. Give you an avocado. I don't know. I don't know. I've just, like, ever since I've tried an avocado, it just it doesn't quite hit the spot for me. But I like how they look. Like, I think they are a cool, like, vegetable. Do you think you'll at least keep it in your room as, like, a... Yeah, for sure. I mean, it might go off. Like, it might, like, rot slowly. Do, do they yeah. rot? I don't know. Do they rot? I assume they rot. They, yeah, they, they rot. Everything rots. But, but I mean, I could like freeze it or something. Like, I should keep it in my freezer. There's some stuff about you on the internet. You're on the come up. But let's go back to where it all started. So like you're a little kid in your bedroom, you're writing. What did that first song sound like? It was really deep and dark and it was called Intentions, I think. And it was something about like me talking about the world and like how we shouldn't try and live up to the world's expectations. And it was called expectations, that's what it was. And it was just very like deep and dark for like an 11 year old, so it was kind of fucked up. Do you think, I mean, you've described your music as dark and a little pessimistic. Yeah. As a a kid growing up, would you say that you were maybe an outsider or an outcast amongst your peers or in school? Definitely, I think I had friends in school. I didn't have too many. And like, I, I started like obviously posting covers online and doing music stuff from like a young age. And you know, like you get like, you get shit like from doing stuff like that in school. So I had a bit of shit from people, um, but I, I kind of just got on with it. It didn't really demotivate me in any way. I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I kind of just let it slide for the most part. But I think I did sort of isolate myself in high school a little bit. And like I was spent a lot of time in my room, but I, I'm glad that I'd done it sort of. I mean, I definitely have like deep rooted trauma from those experiences, but at the same time, I don't think I would have put as much time and energy into like writing and music stuff if I hadn't sort of had that sort of outside perspective. So what is your favorite Radiohead album? Oh, this is a hard question. Yeah, I know. So I have, actually, do you know what? I'm just going to say it and I'm going to have no shame when I say this. My favorite is A Moon Shaped Pool. I don't even know that one. Which one is that? Why? It's just, it's it's one of the more recent ones. It's got like the cover, like the black and white cover. And it's a recent one. It's more recent, yeah. Really? Not like super recent, maybe like 2010 or something, 2013, okay. something like that. Maybe actually 2016. It's recent anyway, in terms of Radiohead. And I love, I love In Rainbows. Like, I think that's an incredible album. But I re- like I more recently fell in love with a moon shaped pool because I just like love the production on it. There's this song called Burn the Witch, which is just like such a beautiful song, and this song called Daydreaming is potentially my favorite song ever written, and it's on a moon shaped pool, and it's this beautiful like piano ballad, but it's so like tense, and you're like by the end of it, you're just like wow, like I, that was such an experience. I don't know, I just love that album. I loved like photography when I was young and like making like random edits. I remember I had like an edits page on Instagram when I was like 12. And like, I used to like make myself like levitate in photos and stuff. It was really like weird. Levitation? But 
Yeah, levitation is one you of my. Levitate? I can, can levitate. Can we quote you on that? You can quote me on that. He levitates. So basically, what you have to do is you have to like you have to get a chair or a stool. You have to like lie on it or like like kind of float on it. Yeah. Take a picture, then leave the frame. Take the stool out of the frame. Take a picture of the backdrop, and then you have to like put your picture over the backdrop and then just edit out the chair oh so this is not real levitation no no oh i thought we were good okay no i can fake it though <laughs> what does dylan do to kind of like cope like what are his like safe places and like safe things to do i think when i'm having a down day it's kind of hard because i think i like don't really follow coping mechanisms <laughs> very well so i don't know if i've like quite found what works for me fully but one thing that I've realized recently is you have to get out of bed. Like, wow. I have to get out of bed, otherwise I just spiral. Yeah. And then I get in my head about stuff, like my manager will text me and I'll just be like, I'll just like, it'll send me crazy and I'll just be like, ah, there's so much happening. And I think what I need to get better at is like, when I'm feeling a bit down, don't lie in your dark room in bed, because it does not help and it just makes you spiral more. And I think if you get up, you like open your blinds, like have a shower or whatever, like start your day, you can sort of kick it a little bit. Shrek. You guys ever seen Shrek before? Um, Shrek's from Scotland. Let's Shrek. go, Shrek. Shrek is from Scotland. And yeah, so you definitely hear the same accent. But my actual question is like, um, although you're leaving Scotland and you're going to be a universal artist, do you still like rep Scotland? You're, you're like, this is where I'm from. Like, definitely. I owe it to like the person I am today. I, I owe it to Scotland. How how much how hard do you rep Scotland? I rep Scotland like a hundred percent. I love being Scottish. I don't know. I think Scottish people have this edge, and that sounds mm -hmm. cocky, but I just think Scottish people have this like weird edge. Yeah, <laughs> and you've never had a Scottish artist. Like, I'm the on first the podcast, one. I don't think either. So you're the first. There's oh, it's kind of Scotland, like mysterious, man. you know? Yeah. I'm like I love Scotland. It's beautiful. People there are really nice, and like. I'm glad that I'm Scottish because it sort of like keeps me grounded. Like you can't go back to your Scottish granny and be like cocky. Like they will Whoa. smack you down a few pegs instantly. With what? I mean, they won't maybe not like physically hit you. They might like, hit you with like a slipper or something. Yeah, but, I'm, like, I'm Puerto Rican. I'll get. I'll get yeah, yeah, like, like with Chinese this. Slipper. Yeah, this slipper. You know, it hurt. Like, it really hurt hard. though. Yeah, like I was like, grand. That's kind of like that kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah. But like, yeah. They will just basically like bring you down a few pegs with words, yeah. you know, like keep you in your place. So I think I'm glad it's what keeps me grounded. It's nice to go back there and like spend time with my family. And I don't know, I just love it there. I'm glad that I'm Scottish. Do you plan on going back? When do you go back? Or have you moved to LA yet? Have you made the move? No, I haven't moved to LA. I live in London. I okay. just moved to London in January. So this is my first time like not living with my parents, which has been sort of crazy um but are it's been wild one? are you getting lit in london what are you doing in um, london i would say i'm a little bit of a wild one like now i'm like i'm like one. out of my parents house i'm like i can do whatever i want uh -huh. like this is the best time so i've been going out a lot and um, which is probably not the best thing for my body but i'm like young and like, i'm just trying to have a good time so elton john cosine yeah what's what what, what what does that even mean can you tell us what's going on with that like what have you met him? Like, what? <laughs> I have not met him. It was kind of weird. I remember I got, like, I was releasing my first EP, I believe, and I got a text from my manager. Or actually, no, I didn't get a text from my manager. I texted my manager after because an Elton John, like, fan page, like, mentioned me on Instagram or something. What? And I was like, they were like, Elton John played this on his show. And I like, went on and my name was there. And I was like, like hardly like no way so then i like went and checked his like apple music show and he played my song i think it was losing sleep that he played really? and i was like wow i, I remember That's i just sort nice. of like i just sort of like went through to the living room i was back home in scotland and i went through to my mom and dad and i was like this is really weird and like this statement is going to be so strange to you guys but elton That's john yeah, do you know Elton John? He like just played my song on the radio. That's wild. And they were like, What? This what? is so crazy. My grand was so buzzing. Your grandma? Yeah, she was loving it. Your grandma? Yeah. Shout out to your grandma. Do you want to say shout out to your grandma? Shout out to Maggie or yeah. Mar she would hate that I call her Maggie or Mags as yeah. people call her. To Margaret Fraser. 
I love you. Could you imagine opening up for Tom York or like Radiohead one day? Well, I would love to do that. That Let's would be so happen. cool. Tom Let's York, if you're watching, I'll come support you, man. Like, just give me, just like hit me up on Insta. Oh, no. <laughs> Gen Z, he said hit me up on Insta, <laughs> on TikTok. I like sing like All I Need of Him or something. Yeah. You know? What's, what would one, what would be the first thing you would tell him? Would you just go and geek out about like all the music or... If you could ask him one question, what would it be? If I could ask Tom York one question, I want to see like the process of him making Don Chorus, mm -hmm. a song of his project Anima. It's like an insane song or Daydreaming. I just want to know how he done that. Like what, like what his thought process was, like what, how he made it, like how long it took to make. I want to know all the info. I actually thought I saw him once in London. Um, I was outside a coffee shop and I thought I saw him and I was with um, I was with my best mate Jonah who also produces all my stuff and I was like that's Tom York no. I was like Jonah that's really? Tom York and, and it wasn't Tom York but I thought it was and my heart sunk for a little second because I was like oh I can't go up to him like he's at a coffee shop like this is weird like but this is definitely Tom York it wasn't but my, my heart wanted it to be have you ever heard of Alan Watts I'm, I know the name, but I don't know if I can tell you who that is right now. So it's a philosopher. I thought you might be interested. I would be interested. Super random, but because you're an old soul, he just kind of talks about um, kind of like what you're talking about, letting go yeah. of something to allow it to happen. Well, spiritual moment. Are you a spiritual guy? Mm, I don't know I'm spiritual. I don't know if I know enough about what spiritual means. I just kind of like, I don't know if I know about what, like, I don't know if I know what a lot of things mean that deeply. Weirdly, I'm like, I'd say I'm a pretty deep person, but I'm also not at the same time. Like, I can let things go pretty easily, I think. I pretty go with the flow a lot of the time, and then I'm really not sometimes. But I don't know if I, like, I always felt like this in school. I, can, I was never academic because I could never go fully in on things. The only thing I can go fully in on is music and, like, like visual stuff. Like, everything else, I can, like, s see what it is, but I have no like desire to dig that deep into it and I don't know there's like certain things that I can do it with and then there's a lot that I don't do it with. so I always feel like people talk about things to me and I always feel like a bit like dumb in a way because I don't know like enough about it and I think I need to get better at like going more in on things but You're just in your own world I find it hard yeah That's I what think being an artist is. is literally like I've created my own world and I create yeah, in my own world. Yeah, I guess so. And like, I, I think I just find it hard to, if I'm not interested in something, I find it hard to concentrate. And that was always my issue in school. Okay, is there anything else that you would want to tell the fans? Anything, anything for the fans? Anything for the fans. I love you guys. You're the coolest people ever. If you feel like an outsider, fuck everyone like it really it doesn't matter you know like at the end of the day like you will find your people you'll have a great time and i'm just excited to keep like making music and sharing it with you and hopefully you love it Woo! dylan fraser everyone well thank you so much for coming on the oh, show you, you are a gem and yeah let's go let's go you're gonna head to the studio or something what are you gonna do i'm heading to the studio i'm gonna write a song Hopefully it's a good one. I'm feeling good today. The sun is out. So, yeah. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Bye.